By the early 70s, Great Dane had a full head of steam. The decade kicked off with the purchase of a massive all-platform trailer manufacturing facility in Memphis. This was followed by a brand new dry van manufacturing plant in Brazil, Indiana, an ideal location for serving Western and Midwestern trailer markets. The plant would then double its output in 1978 with the addition of refrigerated trailer production. By decade's end, Great Dane was breaking new ground with its research and development lab. Here, space-age road simulation equipment could expose trailers to 10 years worth of wear and tear in a matter of weeks. In 1974, the greatest trailer year in history to that time occurred. The U.S. government decided that a undeveloped computer brake system would be required on all trailers that are sold and manufactured after January 1st, 1975. Uh, this forced the trailer buyers, they knew it was going to be a catastrophe, so they just loaded up in 1974. We built everything we could build. But our timing was perfect because we had purchased land and built a greenfield plant from scratch in Brazil, Indiana. So Brazil became a real force in Great Dane. 